Hey yo, what's up my people? People, sometimes it's tough being a Christian. Indubitably. Sometimes it feels like every smart person in the world thinks the gospel is laughable. Are they right? Do you really believe that God created the world in like seven days or something like that? That ain't right! And God forbid you actually believe in miracles. That ain't right! Wait. Well, anyway, the overly intellectual crowd may disagree with Christianity on a lot of things, but it turns out there is one thing that the actual experts agree with us on, and that was the fact that Jesus was a real person who actually existed in history. For instance, the Englishman Maurice Casey, who is an emeritus professor at the University of Nottingham, he describes himself as an independent scholar who does not serve the interests of any religious faith or anti-religious groups. He believes that Jesus did exist, but he doesn't believe that Jesus was God. Oh, picky, picky, picky. His writings are critical of Christian fundamentalists who believe that Jesus actually performed miracles. He believes that Jesus preached and that he healed people with psychosomatic disorders. It must be psychotic! Or am I so sane that you just blew your mind? And although he believes that Jesus was crucified and buried, he does not believe that he was resurrected. And he attributes the resurrection story to legend. It's gonna be legendary! Although he believes that Jesus the man existed, he attempts to explain away all of the supernatural and miraculous things in the Gospels with more natural explanations. And with his denial of the supernatural aspects of the gospel, there is no religious reason for him to defend the existence of Christ. In his opinion, the book of Mark and Paul's epistles should be considered historically significant by any secular scholar. We're agnostic secular humans. Just as with all other historical accounts, the fact that the author paints the account with his own religious or political views should not take away from the authenticity of their accounts of historical events. Especially since all other historical accounts are also colored with the author's personal opinions, beliefs, and biases. We learn to, to work with what happens and use what happens and create your own masterpieces. It is his opinion that it would be unscholarly to discount the historical account of Jesus' existence, especially considering the evidence there is for it outside of the Bible. And the most likely reason for somebody discounting the historical existence of Jesus would be an anti-Christian bias. Yo, smack that like button. Bart D. Ehrman was a professor at Rutgers University and is now a professor at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. He earned his first theological degree in 1976 from the Moody Bible Institute. And he received his PhD in 1985 from Princeton University. I got my fake bachelor's degree. But after a crisis of faith, he became an agnostic atheist. Becoming very skeptical of all Christianity, he wrote six New York Times bestsellers, such as How Jesus Became God and God's Problem. In spite of his skepticism, he is said to dismiss the Gospels from the historical record is neither fair nor scholarly. That is not fair! The idea he's trying to communicate here is that the Gospels should not be dismissed simply because they have the bias of a certain religion. Because almost all historical writings have major biases from religion, politics, and culture but instead they should be examined with some skepticism and the facts that are given without furthering their own agenda should be considered most likely true, just like any other eyewitness testimony. And beyond that, any facts given that seem to work against their own agenda should be considered almost certainly true. For instance, let's say you're making up a religion with no historical basis whatsoever. Why would you make the hero of the story die when you're trying to present him to the world as immortal? No, no, that makes total sense. It is for this reason that most experts believe that Jesus was executed 
and therefore must have existed. Ehrman confirms that idea when he said, the view that Jesus existed is held by almost every expert on the planet. They're experts! Experts, Bob! Dr. Robert M. Price is an atheist who denies the existence of Christ. He's a part of a small movement in the scholarly community that subscribed to the idea of the Christ myth. In his article, Jesus at the Vanishing Point, he concedes the fact that the majority of scholars accept the existence of Jesus of Nazareth. So you admit it! However, he argues that consensus doesn't make something a fact. And although I don't believe that he would accept that argument if we were talking about something, say, evolution, I have to admit he has a point. Which is why I've already made a video discussing the evidence there is outside of New Testament for the existence of Jesus. The fact is, there is good evidence for Jesus existing historically. Which is why so many scholars accept his existence in history. My point is that there is quite the misconception that smart people don't believe Jesus existed. And that is just not true. As a matter of fact, among the people who are educated and have studied this portion of history, it's considered kind of fringe to think he didn't exist. You're watching the Renegades of the Renegades.